God damn it, what now? What? How the hell did they make it this far? Look! Octa himself is with them! All men take position! Repeat! All men take position! Keep your eyes on the ground. Yes, we don't want to stumble here. It's not that. Looking at that dummy just pisses me off. That big baby of yours sure does get tied up a lot. If Lady Three catches him, she may experiment on his body. Body experiments? Oh, that would be delectable. I mean, detestable. They're disciples? It's the same thing, you idiot! I will protect Lady Three to the very end. Well said, kid. You do that. I'm just gonna let you take the lead. You're awfully reserved. Huh? You're not going, ah, oh, or I tried super hard or whatever. Oh, can I? Hey, in that case, guess what? Guess what, huh? Shut it, dummy. The Ivy's just gonna dig deeper into you. Hold still and be quiet until I can cut you down.
You can whine at me later. Please, let's put an end to this here. I don't understand. What are you doing over there? I betrayed you. Is that so? <sighs> In any case... You might want to pay a little more attention to your surroundings, hmm? Octa. Yes, my lady. Why did you betray me? Because... I had grown weary of your conduct, my lady. The way you experimented on people. The way you ruthlessly toyed with their lives. I simply could not abide it any longer. Your recreational activities drove me away, my lady. Hmm. I don't think you're telling the truth. My lady, I... You left because your lust needed a more eager partner. Your limitless desire no longer caused my honey to flow. And so you grew restless. That's... well, it may have been a reason, but... So tell me, Three. What does make the old honey flow these days? Hmm? Oh, please. Don't play dumb with me. I know you have desires. I... I no longer hold any love for my disciples. My love is reserved for my soldiers now. My sweet, beloved little soldiers. So this is your final decision, Octa? It is. I serve Lady Zero in all things now. You don't say. Put an end to these atrocities. You seem to be somewhat confused, Octa. A disciple doesn't choose his intoner. An intoner chooses her disciple. <laughs> Behold the third song! Quickened puppets of antiquity! The raging demon's deathly gaze! The army of heretics that rejects the natural cycle! Render into ash the powers of reason and order! I, Octa, summon thee in my name! Armisile, invade! Must 
flee at once! We cannot stop Lady Three now! <laughs> I'm not scared of some whack job loser who hides in a room making dolls all day. They're not dolls, my lady. They're soldiers she's operated on. What? Oh, that's terrible. I love it! That attack looks like it uses up a lot of power. Wait for an opening and then strike. Called love, probably terminal. No, Zero, it's not like that. This is serious. It's it's more like.
Did you really think something like that would finish an intoner? What the? Did he really just do that? The dragon shows his true colors. Is this what dragons are? Ah, oh, well. Hello there. So my name's Scent. And I was sent here by a lady too. I've come to take this horrid dragon off your hands. Wait. Ooh, sorry, out of time. I'm kind of a busy guy, see? Fact, I only had eight hours of sleep last night. If I weren't as powerful as I am, I'd likely be dead by now. And that would be a shame of epic proportions. <laughs> but listen to me go on. I'm gonna be late, and then Lady Two might get angry. Not that I'm scared of her or anything. Oh no, nothing like that. Wouldn't want you to get the wrong idea about me. Anyway... Gotta go, kids. Ta-ta for now. Thank you. 